Hey guys, Tom 61 and we are back in Leone in World of Warships Legends, and uh, it got a little bit of a change this past go around, so I figured it was time to uh, bring it back out again. I feel like I feel like the Leone is now a full pizza. Like when we first got it, it was a breadstick. It, it was the base version of it. Last update, they added the tomato sauce. They gave us the the commanders to actually use. On Italian destroyers and then this update they gave us the cheese they gave us the ability to put exhaust smoke on it which I feel like really just completes this whole package and has made the Leone quite the fun little tier 5 destroyer I would call it the per the poor person's uh, Paolo Emilio but the Paolo you can get for free this is the one you have to pay for so it's not quite the poor it's not quite the poor person's uh, Paolo it's just uh, a tier five Paolo ish. I don't know. I, I do a YOLO run in it in this game. Anyways, uh, if you haven't checked it out, I'm running currently running uh, Luigi Rizzo as the commander on here uh, for him. He uh, his base trait is going to increase the duration of the engine boost. And then I like to run Leone as a bit more of a gunboat. So that's why we're running Rizzo. So we get observant rage. Uh, look at me now. Twist and track just to help with the turret traverse smoke on the water and then unstoppable and then as far as the inspirations we are running vincent mortiff and eric bay if you don't know how to go ahead and switch on out those things you're gonna head up to the consumable uh if you want to switch out the the smoke you can go from the usual smoke on over to the exhaust smoke just by selecting it over here and we have this fabuki that pops up and it's time to just enjoy gunning them down the salvos that you can get with the leone pretty good like the fact that you have eight shells traveling down range at any one time, if you can get them to land, it is absolutely a joy to use it. Fubuki goes down relatively quickly. We can see Furutaka kind of debating with uh, coming in, and New York is also deciding to push in. So we'll go ahead and leave the extremely slow uh, torpedoes for, for the New York. Check on Furutaka once in. He's not quite coming this way. So we're going to wait, 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 wait. Let off up. Wait, we have to wait for this this guy to go. Now we can go ahead and throw those torpedoes. And uh, Furutaka, now we can go ahead and start engaging him. Fire the HE, only sadly get one hit, two shatters. Switch over to the AP because he was broadside to us. And Furutaka has very thin armor, but he gets taken out by those torpedoes. New York still, still spotted, so we're going to go ahead, flip around and fire the torpedo kind of near on the indicator. We can see it's kind of drawing in. And at this point, we realize he's really coming in close. One of the other nice things about Leone is it has relatively quick uh, quick regening torps. The reload time on them is pretty quick, uh, and which is why I don't feel the need to really boost them that much, just because generally your torpedoes will still be in the water by the time you're able to fire them again, which is kind of ridiculous. Anyways, we see New York has no, uh, just wants to continue to fire, and that smoke is still there, so we're gonna go ahead and push on in. We see the smoke dissipates. Those first two torps end up hitting them, and then as soon as we get spotted, we're gonna pull the old Paolo trick, and by that, I mean we are gonna go ahead and pop our, uh, our, our beautiful new smoke the one that follows us, the engine smoke screen, and uh, go ahead with widespread just in case he's able to maneuver because sometimes those American battleships are a bit more maneuverable than you would exactly expect. But we get the beautiful YOLO Torp off, wipe out the New York, and uh, we've pretty much finished off this side. Our team on the other side is doing okay, and our teammates are running to be to capture. And at this point, I'm like, okay, there's no way we get to be in time to uh, really capture B and get the points. I think the best play is to go after their aircraft carrier. Our team is way up, but taking the aircraft carrier off the board is probably gonna be the best bet. And he's either gonna last at the very end um, and at this ship lead, we should be okay. And if we're not, I will have plenty of time to get there and come back and hopefully affect the battle afterwards. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward until we get spotted on that aircraft carrier. And boom, there we go. He pops up all spotted. Sadly, he is employing the technique of further away is more better. And by that, I mean, he seems to have just chucked it in reverse from the very beginning. 
going to the very edge of the map, which means we are still going to have to change some. We have a decent top speed, 37, 35, no, uh, 37, 38 knots, but we can only get two of our guns kind of on target, or we can turn out, get a couple more, start chunking down on him, but uh, it's, it's going to take a minute, and sadly, uh, we are going to probably have to also torp him at relatively long range, and you'll see once we get in range on those torps, there is a bit of an issue with the torp indicator when you have someone who is uh, going to be backing into the wall like this gentleman is. You, we can see that what what the game says is reality is not going to be reality. Uh, we can see it's very far off. We throw a torpedo that way just in case somehow the torp indicator was correct, but we have a fairly good feeling that uh, he, is, he is very much not going to to be that far away. Uh, and in fact, he actually decides to throw it into full forward. Uh, I guess he decides he's gonna try to get into secondary range, dodge the torps. Uh, he does get a successful drop on us, so good for him. Uh, thankfully, we are able to repair. And the one thing that does is it knocked out our torp tubes. And we now have to w go through the full uh, 42 second reload. Thankfully, like we said earlier, relatively quick uh, reloading torpedoes. Because if we had them, if it was, uh, if we had had those torpedoes fully loaded, he would absolutely be sunk now. But now we, he is going to uh, prolong this battle for us, which is slightly unfortunate just because it would have been nice just to be able to torp him and get on back to the battlefield. We can see our team has successfully taken B and formed sort of a crossfire into C as we still have our original C units still out in the open waters. Uh, kind of encircling them, and B is able to get those good shots in. We're up next to the Ranger now, firing uh, AP, and probably should have switched over to HE because we were getting so many overpens, but our torpedoes are finally back. We're circling around the Ranger, not like there's uh, there's very many, uh, whatchamacallits, there's not, it's not like there is a turret to dodge, it is just his secondaries, and uh, he is down. One thing I did find interesting is this player, as soon as we sunk him, uh, he put out the torpedo planes, which usually are the most effective when trying to go after a destroyer. And he just doesn't even bother with trying to sink us. He's like, nope, okay, I'm gonna bugger off and I'm not even gonna try to keep you spotted. I'm just I'm just flying away. It's like, okay, that's, that's a strategy. And you know what? As the person who didn't want to burn his last smoke in case he has to use it in this upcoming battle, I'm perfectly okay with your choice to decide to do that. Thank you so much. But yeah, guys, this ends up being uh, the end of the match. That was the last of the action. The enemy team ends up just trying to chase out into open water to destroy our carrier. And uh, it doesn't go well for them. It, pretty much their team gets uh, gets destroyed uh, right at the end. But yeah, guys, uh, that's the Leone. I think it is now a fully featured destroyer. I think... With the exhaust smoke, with the with the new commanders or with the semi new commanders, it feels right. Um, you know, Leone is still a premium destroyer, which is unfortunate. But you know, if you're if you're interested and you want something different and unique, I think a lot of the 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 sentiment around Leone when you watched the initial reviews was that it was not very great, um, just because it felt like it was missing. A piece of the pie you know it was it wasn't a full pizza and now now it's a full pizza now it has both a, a commander and the smoke that you would think it should get so uh if you if you bought the leone and you haven't taken it out of port since uh buying it because you were very disappointed in it i would say go take it out if you see it on sale i think it's a unique ship and one that is pretty fun to run in tier five so yeah guys if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.